Hello everybody, uh, part three of the Hay Grapple accumulator build. Um, where we're at today is uh, we're gonna mount the frames together and we're gonna build the dividers and the, the guides that go down the side and the centers. Um, so I wanted to finish cutting all of my lineal uh, material here before I attach the frames to each other and because uh, I won't be able to do that this is going to take up basically this whole half of the garage so uh, yeah we're getting we're getting there moving along it's uh, starting to look like like a hay grapple I cut my I think I called it quarter inch plate in one of my videos but it's not it's uh, eight inch eighth inch plate so I cut these up uh, I was gonna take it to my local steel shop and have them run them on a shear but I forgot them and I have a grinder with a cutoff wheel that works just fine so uh, made a lot of dust but it's done so I'm gonna mount these with uh, angle iron I'm gonna weld this angle iron to it and uh, tap into these to uh, fasten those two. So we're gonna weld these up, get them out of the way. I, I need to start cutting plate for mounting those two, the sides of the frame here. So they're gonna mount just to the outside, run down the side. So uh, yeah, hang tight. I'm gonna get you up on a tripod and we're gonna uh, make things happen.
And here we are. We are uh, finally at the point of joining the two frames together. Uh, they are leveled, uh, leveled perfectly to each other. Uh, forward, back, side to side. It is 100% uh, perfect. Uh, things actually lined up really well. I think I'm about a 30 second sticking out each end, which is fine with me. Um, for a job that's been done on the floor in my garage, I think it's it's turned out pretty square. So uh, it uh, pays to uh, double and triple check and don't get in a hurry. So I'm gonna start welding that assembly together. I have the two sides done and the center piece. So uh, there's the gussets for this. So what I have left to do yet is uh, put my angle brackets on this. We'll first cut my angle brackets and uh, put that together. I was gonna wait to finish this until I'm done here so that I can flip the whole thing up and I can work on the underside of it. So uh, here we are. Uh, very glad I'm to this point. It's been uh, it's been laborious as far as doing it on the ground. Just uh, doing a project this big on the ground is really hard on your knees and your back. But uh, it's getting done. So that's the the big thing. I'm not paying six or seven thousand dollars for a, a grappleator. So uh, it's worth it for me to uh, do it this way. But uh, yeah, sit tight, we're gonna get to welding. Okay guys, uh, here we are. Uh, this is going to conclude uh, part three of this build. Um, so I, uh, I got these uh, fish plates on, gussets are finished. Uh, I still need to flip this up to get the underside um, of that fish plate, but uh, all is well. Um, things are looking nice and clean and straight. Uh, it feels very, very sturdy. I'm not, not worried about the, uh, the integrity of this, and I'm uh, really looking forward to see how it performs. But um, that's it for now. So uh, part four, we will be attaching the guides. So like, like so, and We'll be finishing up. Uh, well, we'll be finishing up all the guides, and we will be attaching the skid steer quick attach uh, to the rear of it. And uh, we'll we'll see where it goes from there. That might be uh, all that we're able to do for part four. And uh, part five, we're gonna be uh, assembling. Well, fabricating up the linkage system uh, for the the hook shafts. So that will be kind of interesting. I, I vaguely have a plan. It's, uh, I would say, semi thought out, but it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple uh, design, I guess. So probably won't be too many ways for me to go wrong. So uh, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Have a good day.